Hey, what's up everybody? In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how can you leverage Go High Level's social planner analytics to optimize your content for more reach and engagement. So for this demonstration, I have a red light therapy clinic right here who have a Go High Level sub account and they use the social planner inside of Go High Level to create posts on Facebook and Instagram. And now they want to create some more content for the upcoming weeks and their goal is to get more reach and engagement. Now there's no better way than knowing the data of the previous post. So if you can somehow see how the old posts were performing, which post was getting the most engagement or likes or comments, then you can create similar kind of content to predict that you can still get good results for the upcoming content. And that's exactly what we're gonna see in Go High Level. So if you were already using the social planner inside of Go High Level, this is gonna be really helpful for you. So we're gonna head over to marketing in our Go High Level sub account. So straight away, we see the planner here, which is showing the captions and the posts that have been published, as well as the social platform right here. Now you'll see we have a statistics tab right here. So if you click on that, it's actually gonna tell you two things, the so top performing post and then the recent post as well. So from here, you can actually see which were the top performing posts in terms of likes, shares, and comments and the social media platform where it was posted to. So this will actually give you an idea which post is performing well. And if you wanna see some more details of that post, you can actually click on these I buttons. So if you click here, it will actually take you to the exact link of that post so you can see what you posted in detail. And then coming back, we also have recent posts, so you can see in terms of the dates they were posted in, if they are performing good or not. So these two basic features can actually give you a pretty good idea on what kind of content to create. Now we do have one more way on how you can see this in a calendar view. So if I go back here under planner, and then if I click on the calendar button right here, and if I scroll down and I go to the last month, now as you can see, we can see the post here, it is telling us the time, the date, the platform was posted to and it is also showing us the number of likes shares and comments these posts got so you can see in a calendar view as well which posts are performing well because some people prefer a calendar view so this can give you a pretty good idea on what kind of content to plan for the future and this will really help you in creating content that actually speaks to your audience so that is pretty much about it again these are very basic features but if you use them correctly they can really help you in your content creation strategy and take your business to the next level that's about it for today Thank you for watching.